Retail taking up the earnings mantle next week with Walmart, Home Depot, TJX among the names set to report. The stock's underperforming the broader market so far this year. But can, what can they say about the state of the consumer to turn things around? Grasso, um, a lot of these, especially Walmart and Target, they've been, you know, dragged down by inventory issues. Um, we see the trade down happening amongst consumers and households. What do you think is going to happen here? I, I think a lot of this is at the end of the year when we look at the CPI uh, specifically, a lot of this was the was these retail uh, sector or the entire sector cleaning, clearing out their shelves and discounting to a certain extent. Walmart specifically, 56 percent of Walmart's revenues come from groceries. So there's a lot of noise around that, that, that number, Melissa, because of food inflation. I think food inflation will slowly start coming down, and I think that's going to be impactful to, uh, to revenue for Walmart. Having said that, Home Depot has underperformed lows, and the professional contractor is a big part, 40% or 45% of the revenues for Home Depot. So I think that the contractors still have a backlog of business that's going to push that forward. So I think Home Depot is going to be uh, catching up and maybe outperforming lows. But Walmart, for me, is a little too cloudy, and the overall consumer probably a little strapped at this point and still looking for bargains. Credit Steve suggests out saying that they expect Walmart to miss. Part of the reason is they think uh, there's going to still be a lot of markdowns on inventory, so operating margins will continue to be pressured even in this quarter, Tim. Uh, hard lines and broad lines, the big weeks coming up. By the way, th those are interesting terms. Um, I never really, yeah, I never really, I, I mean, I kind of get them. It's kind of like that <laughs> line below the hard deck in Top Gun, right? Anyway, sure. let, let's, let's get back to where we should be here. I, I, I think um, the, the story for, for Walmart is you've got groceries. They've been a major beneficiary. I actually think Walmart also uh, remains very defensive because they've got some flows from digital ad from Walmart Plus. I mean, it's a little bit of the best of both worlds, but um, we, we talked about how higher inflation food costs great for folks like that. Trades at a premium to Target, but I actually think it should. I'm long Walmart, and, and, and it's outperformed Target by 25% over the last year. But this is the one place where I, I think you're very well positioned with a consumer that's trading down. And, and a consumer who needs to be a Walmart, they have price leadership. Yeah, and I think what you're going to see with the overall consumer when we see the retailer report next week is likely we're going to continue to see a strong consumer. I mean, really, that hasn't been a problem. If anything, the problem is the consumer's too strong. But you are going to still see this trading down effect, which is going to likely affect something like a Walmart, to Tim's point. But actually, I also really like a Home Depot because what's also happening in the housing sector is affordability has been a problem. You just saw mortgage rates are ticking up again. They're getting close to about 7%. There is no supply out there. So what's happening is people are just staying put. They're not getting new houses, and they're just putting more money back into theirs and they've seen a lot of demand even into their pro business which I do think is going to continue to benefit them so I actually do like the retailers I think we're hopefully going to see a strong week next week but I think it's going to speak very well to the consumer Carter give us the rundown on what you see in the charts sure well I mean Walmart speaking of groceries if you were to take the absolute low of the financial crisis right the March 6 2009 Walmart has been underperforming the stock market ever since. I mean, the stock market has more than doubled the performance of Walmart. I just don't see the point. Uh, I like Target better than Walmart. Target has all the elements of a bearish to bullish reversal, and Walmart has a topping. Um, Home Depot, I mean, my goodness, the, the problem here is that its, it's relative performance to home builders is so poor. Same with Lowe's. It, it, it's just, it's really a pair of two. I don't see any great downside, but... I don't see the point here. There's so many opportunities to win or lose. These just don't seem like they're timely, dynamic, or interesting. 